Enough of the future, let's focus on the here and now. Astralis on the CT side doing battle against their Swedish counterparts. Fnatic coming up quickly through Banana. All five players strong. No huge surprise, no prize for guessing which side they're going to pounce on. And it comes right in here. Dupree boosted up, instantly wrecked by Golden's Glock. But now the Swedes starting to get cut back down to size. I say that there's multiple of them that are injured, but they still come out ahead in this trade. And just like that, the round's done. I was expecting somewhat of a comeback from Astralis, but it's cut completely short. The two weakened players still alive, smoking off on CT side. As the tag is watching the cross, beautifully timed flashbang, actually working out for Astralis. It was tossed in from Fnatic, and the rest is being laid to waste. Crims, last man standing, but with 18 seconds to go, is taking damage through the smoke. He may be able to force this plant down, but surely taking too much damage on the way out. Or perhaps not. Astralis assuming it was a fake. They respect Crims, they hold their fire, they hold their ground and now try to come in as a united front and they spam him up through the smoke. Device using the UMP, performing so well for Fnatic over the duration of this tournament. And now they try and rush their way in towards the B site. Estetag spraying up through the smoke, doing tons of damage, but not getting any kills for it. Device taking a stray headshot, does deal with the flusher threat, but now it's being encircled by terrorists as Estetag falls down. Device needs to have a big moment, and it's Brolan in mid-air with the Tech-9 that shuts him out. But Magus, the new brains behind the operation, will come in with his Galil, and a 3k ties up the round. When the roles reverse, Golden tagged down. Only two smokes between the rest of the T's. They've thrown out a Molotov. Brolan goes through the smoke before the rest of his teammates can really come in and help him out. And he is punished. Device getting aggressive. Oh. Talked about it with Frankie. He wants to take Fnatic out of their comfort zone. And he's about to flank in. If they don't get a move on outside of Abs, he will have a lineup. And there's a double spray. Nothing comfortable about this on Fnatic. And Golden on a measly 19 HP, will be next on the chopping block. The bomb also in a horrendous position. He has to traverse through the apps or up on hay bales, and Dupree will silence him with the M4. And Device peering down, Banana, a freebie onto Flusher. And I was mentioning that, you know, maybe this rifle round, their fortunes will turn around, but if anything, it's been even more one-sided, Tom. They're getting wrecked by grenades again. There's just no way forward. Spammed up through smoke. Oh, no. Oh, JW does hit a nice little shot coming in onto Magisk, but... They find a pick, but it seems at a point where the round is already done. And now JW, 25 seconds left. His teammates have a little bit of extra cash to play with, so... It might actually just be worth holding on to this AWP, or attempting to, I should say. Because there are plenty of CTs and so much cash for Astralis that they can risk getting rid of this gun. Oh yeah, could even maybe pick it up if they want to go for double AWP. Be quite curious. I think he may have dropped it on top of the bridge, which maybe saves that one, if not the best pit player in the entire world. He has been for quite some time. He is staying alive behind the smoke. Hiding his time for his teammates to rotate in. They weren't completely sold that it was an A hit. You can see how slow S tag is to rotate down Banana. Device goes in for the first in this retake. Golden sent reeling three on three. No utility on Fnatic and two incendiaries on Astralis. This could be a big part of the puzzle. But Brolan takes off the head of Device. They still know Magisk is in pit. And if they didn't realize it before, now they certainly do. But he's been suppressed down, leaving S tag in a one on two. The money in good shape he can go for this but the bomb timer is running incredibly low as is his health bar Fnatic finally double up and get their second as I said at the time he wanted to take them out of their comfort zone he said this to Frankie he feels like that's a really good way to get in the heads of Fnatic and to put them down into bite-sized pieces flush up with the SMG play that you highlighted and they run into the crosshair of S tag and he does not miss living up to the three in his name with a 3k and now Crimson JW they do have the smoke to safely cross to the site, but it's what can they feasibly do after that? Even in a post plan, it's a 3v2, and Astralis still have more than enough utility to make this work. This is normally where Fnatic shine. Clutch situations, JW and Crims. 
And Crims is already going to kick things off. JW alongside him as well. And now Magic has to try and clutch this, but it's a bit of a whiff. Down to just 12 HP. The AWP on the other side. Nate going to be thrown out. JW's already made his way around the corner and retrieves a rifle, knowing this is the better in this scenario. And they will close out the clutch. It is what Fnatic does best. Sold down the river of where this stack of players currently is. And we have actually seen them act on the other side. Brolin, however, has already found a pick onto device. The man in pit you mentioned earlier, Magis, looking like he's going to have a hell of a job to do. Great utility now for Fnatic. They throw in the Molotovs towards Library. Magisk gets an even trade, but Brolan and Flusher both low. No way of Astralis knowing this, especially Flusher. So can they also strain the economy? JW in hot pursuit, insta-kill into Dupree, can stick around, can try and draw the remaining Danes out into the open and divine and conquer through them. He knows that Ruins is clear, can make a call to Crims who goes in as well, but fair play, Astralis hold their ground. Estatag and Glaive do survive and they trade up to an AK. The only thing that worries me a bit here is Glaive's held on to an incendiary. And the time is very low. 20 seconds, but they do have the first pick. Glaive needs to hold the line with Estatag, but they've gone down, both of them. 10 seconds to go, more than ample time to get this bomb plant. At least this time, Astralis in a 2v2. It's not as if they completely lost the site with nothing in return, but it doesn't seem like they're interested in going for this. They're both backing away. Their economy can't really withstand losing both of these players. And pardon me, it wasn't a 2v2, it's a 2v3. Nades flying on to B. Molotov behind it. One of these teams will lead at halftime. It's all even for now, but the momentum's certainly anything but device. Holds on with the orb that keeps two of them interested though. And now the bomb is rummaging through onto A. Magis typically playing in pit, now up on the balcony, using the smoke that he's tossed out to his advantage and sprays in for another one. Glaive is holding it down alongside Magis. JW comes out swinging with the Deagle, however. And now Brolan, the first player that saw action, is all that remains for the Swedes, but he's spinning around and he's landing nothing but headshots cultivating carnage in his wake. It comes down to Magis, who has the vast advantage in terms of HP. 13 now left for Brolan, who spins back around again, but Magis will punish him. Astralis will lead at half time, but I don't think it'll feel too much like it, Tom. Rims and pistol rounds sometimes can be an absolute menace but may just be cut short. He's on four HP and his teammates have died around him. A-Sight's been taken, Astralis with 40 seconds. We'll be planting the bomb down. They do have a kit flashbang and some Kevlar to potentially save. And now that Golden's gone down, I think it's even less likely that we see them go for this. It's just that Flush is basically stuck in library. He couldn't really run away. He couldn't really escape. An A hit, only losing one player, pretty aggressive. And having all the trades go their way, Esetag will get blown up by the bomb. Not that he'll really care about that. 35 seconds. Still yet to push onto the site, but that is imminent. They are about to pull the trigger and get involved. Flusher and Golden stand against them, weathering the storm, and so far, so good. Golden holds it down. Flusher goes in for another one. Good flashbang tossed in. They've scored long enough that the rest of their teammates can now get up close, but one of which has been smoked off. That yields a bomb plant on Dupree. Keep in mind, this is a bonus for Astralis. Oh, through the smoke, JW decapitates device. At least Fnatic get an eight. And Astralis decide to mix up the pace. That incendiary is a bit awkward, but whatever, Brolan, we'll let you off on that one. You may end up paying the price, though, with your life, or perhaps not. He jumps up to try and get a better angle, but while in midair, he shut down. Crims, at least making it costly onto device. They can pick up some of those rifles if Fnatic do decide to save. So that'll be an AK and an AWP. If they can get one of these two players picked off quickly from JW's AWP, they have a real chance to get back into this. It's the lack of kit that is worrying me, though, Tom. Makes me think if they don't get in and pick that kid up, which is out in the middle of the site soon, this round should be over. And the fact that JW has now been suppressed by Glaive puts an end to this round and could put an end to Crims' life. Or perhaps not. Looks like he will save his AK. But 12-8 the score and Fnatic only able to muster up the strength for one CT round thus far. And Crims dies to the bomb. 
Will it be long enough for a re-rotation to take shape? Because they drew out Golden. This segregates Flusher from the rest of his team, and now he is being pressured, maneuvering in, hiding behind the smoke. Dupree instantly collapses back onto Flusher, but still Astralis, our player behind. It may be a post plant, but still incendiary. Plenty of flashbangs, plenty of opportunities. Fnatic need to make this stick. They cannot afford to miss this landing. If they miss this, they could be just barreling out of their choice of map headed to Dust2 next. Incendiary, tossed to the back of triple. No one home, not affecting Astralis. Time dwindling, half of the fuse remaining now. Fnatic know they've got to get up close. They have no kit to play with. There's one on the floor, but they need to go pick this one up first. Blade comes in with two, keeps spraying them down, and there's a 4K. And he's hyped. He's pumped. Man, they have all the initiative. They have to play aggressive. There is no two ways about it. Device taking down JW. Look like he just spun into an insta headshot. Gets nailed through the smoke, though. We'll think about pushing again. If that kill goes the way of Fnatic, it would have been an awkward situation with the CTs being in a 2 on 2. Brolan moves back, does get the drop onto Glaive. Whether he takes this shot or not, yet to be seen. May have been waiting for that second player to show his hand, but obviously we can see no kit for Brolan. Needs to get up close and personal. Needs to get that dirty boxing into effect if he wants to get back into this. Through the Molotov. He extinguishes it, but Esetag will vanquish him from the round. Seven map points now to bring back their map choice. The next is a map has said they haven't won in a while. Already a strong start though. Brolin with the AUG mentioned he's one of the connoisseurs of that weapon. Well, not a bad double spray down and a very good situation here. Glaive, he just goes on a suicide run straight through the Molotov. Realizing this round is all but over unless a miracle occurs. And well, it turns out he's not fireproof. Magisk, been fantastic so far. 20 kills. He'd need 25 to close this here. And well, flush his second orb. In the first few moments of the round, that's a big grenade though. Device and Magus taking the brunt of it. Magus trying to answer back with some of his own damage, but they dropped the bomb down. It's Golden's AK. This thing is true for the Swedes. They line up and there's Flusher, a collateral. And that will be a good confidence builder. Not only the round, not only three kills for Flusher, but it's a clean sweep. It also builds up their economy nicely. The N1614 because the team crumbles right to the end. Flusher, though, it, it seems he's getting more and more confident as the rounds go by. More audacious, more aggressive. I'm sure Magisk is trying to kill him off. Look at the spam going through. And Golden's even there to back him up at the end. We spoke about banana aggression coming out from Astralis and something being a bit of a miss. They're attempting it here. Flusher, he's going to trade out his in-game leader, keep things in their favor. Flusher's going back for more, and this time maybe a little bit too much. He gets punished. Do they know Crims is here? He hasn't had a kill. They are going to smoke off the back lines. He's going to wait to see if he can find anyone through it. JW's already in position to support. And the rotation from Brolin is here as well. But they definitely know he's here now. Device has the right idea. If he were to pull the trigger, it'll be JW sent reeling for probably the last time in this map. They need a hero play to take shape. Everyone has kits on the CTs. They have a bit of utility, but they're lacking HP. And these smokes have been perfectly placed. Look at how much time this is wasted. The flashbang comes through, but Crims goes down, and now Brolan has a mountainous task ahead of him, and he will stumble, falter, and fall. And that will be first blood drawn to Astralis. We'll be coming straight out of long. Flashbang preceding the push. The charge is imminent. Three smokes at their disposal as well, but good counter flashes. Tossed in, keeps the tease at bay for a few more seconds before JW gets splattered by Device. Device then getting flashed in the worst possible moment, just as he was trying to line up two CTs. A lot of flirtation, but not too much in terms of fragging here, Tom. Some of the time we've actually seen some fairly poor T sides coming out from Fnatic, and that's something I don't expect to see from Astralis, and more so their CT side rotations as well, uh, as some of the best in the world. So this is going to be tough for Fnatic no matter where they start. And well, with a pistol looking like it's going in their opponent's favor, I'm not feeling too comfortable. Look, look at the current position of Dupree. Completely agree with you. 2v5 retake. I mean, it, it's there's not really too many options are there, but Dupree nearly whiffing his opportunity. 
He will get one of them, and now Golden, who landed a pretty ridiculous shot towards the end of Inferno, has finally claimed the life of Dupree, now walks back into the lion's den, and Magisk will devour him with the P250. Astralis take first blood again. Astralis had orcs, and they had you know, full AKs, and may even have gone for two orcs. Because they know it's going to be basically a bonus round, and Astralis likely will get aggressive, they... Keep the assault rifles, plenty of damage early on. S attack finished off, but Dupree counteracts onto Golden. He was the assailant to kick it off, and now the flashes have subsided. Glaze suddenly notices that Crimson has just stood out there. It <laughs> comes out second best, second to the punch. Two HP left on Flusher, who keeps going back in for these repeats. He's so aggressive. They line up and he gets one. He then gets nullified, but still Crims is here. He's been sat around Pit for so long. Somewhat surprising that Fnatic have not drawn out any more of these players from B or middle, having supreme confidence in Crim's ability to hold on by himself. Right, that was a minute and a half of just two teams trying to kill each other and ultimately failing for the longest amount of time. It's a disjointed attack though. Still with device pushed the back of the long side. Wants to get into position with his orc. Oh, no. is, is just running back into the Molotov. Gets weakened and softened so bad that one bullet from Flusher through the smokes and silences him. Finally, what a strange round this has been. Astralis finally get the plant. It's a 3v3 retake and Brolan already up on the catwalk side is looking for some aggression. Runs straight through. It's a one for one trade. Now JW, the weakened player from earlier, boosting up Flusher, who comes in with a headshot, and Device, 22 HP to his name. He's found his position on long, but the bomb is not planted for him now, Tom. If they just stick the bomb, he should have this dead to right. And Device has been headshot back from Flusher. They have a kit, they have time, and Fnatic will have a second. But he's basically stuck. There's no way out other than fragging out against Device, who is looking up on Catwalk, flicked down and misses his shot, gets punished, and now the CT's back in this. JW connects one, Dupree at the back of the site has to spray in, but on low HP, he has no room for error, and he's only Ooh. landing frags before JW posts up the round winning moment. He has time for the defuse, even though it was a little <laughs> bit dodgy. On Long, the other player who's just made the cross to the ramp, and Fnatic are doing that just with a couple of incendiaries that they're saving every single time. They really have been putting the work in on this map. I think it's evident already off to a pretty decent start here. And JW is going to nail the shot onto Magisk as well. A series which, after Inferno was done, and in Astralis' favor, I think many people, including myself, will have counted them out. But the start from Fnatic is something to be impressed by, that's for sure. Oh, I'm, I'm mighty impressed. I, I've got to be honest, Tom. I thought Inferno was their only real hope of getting a map in this entire series. I think Overpass likely will favor Astralis. The fact that they're coming out so strong on Dust 2 and just a bit more aggression coming up. Two players aggressively through a long and flushes drop the bomb. He will not live to tell the tale, but do they expect Golden to also be up close? No! Esetar clearly not anticipating that switch to his knife and gets caught in midair. And that intel that they would have gathered from the bomb dropping down allows Brolan to quickly wrap into position and constrict the bomb. Magisk at range takes the head off of Golden, but with 30 seconds, he still needs to retreat all the way around the side to flank into middle with no idea where JW and Brolan's positionings are. Now he knows where the AWP is at least. Smoke down to fend off one of those angles. Trajectory of the incendiary will let him know the second player is down on the tunnels, but he was always going to be coming out second best in that confrontation. Sure, Flusher gets entried, but then Golden's there to return. It, it, it's the same on the B side where one player goes down, there's a second player there. They're constantly playing this buddy system, and then maybe Crims is a bit of a lone wolf. It is going to be the push, a faster play in. A lot of damage done by Brolin and JW. He's still trying to man this from the window. He has Crims to support him as well. He slams the remaining players into the ground. A triple for Fnatic, a half victory already. It seems like mid is the play and the pace change worked out for Astralis in the last round. With the double up setup going a little bit quicker, can work and if JW continues to miss shots, that could be what they need. But there goes Brolin, Crims alongside him as well. And in a matter of seconds, this goes from a round looking good for Astralis to just device. Blended by Orgs. Two on Crims, two on Brolan. And our device 
as you said, is the lone survivor. He has plenty of time to think this one over, to stew on all of his fallen friends, brothers. No quick flick. Golden will punish him. Even looking to try and re-aggress, take control, constantly adapting, constantly changing, and Golden, clinical as ever. This is an investment as well from Astralis. They know they need to be getting rounds on the board, so they put some money into this. And while Device will finally get himself a fifth kill, retrieve a rifle for it, but his teammates are all but gone. Sure, they, JW and Crims are tagged, but can they make anything of this? I don't think so, Tom. With S tag going down and 25 seconds left, Device may feel compelled to go for this because there's such a vast round deficit. Certainly not the potential 11-4 half of CTs. Well, if anything, normally you kind of edge it maybe a little bit over to the T side. Right. <laughs> and yep. this level of confidence from him has been ridiculous. Crims, he's going to get overwhelmed. It's looking like maybe a fifth will come up here off the back of some hero individual plays. It's only the two orbs that remain. I say only with a, with a big pinch of salt because they have been spotted though. Downrange, it's Device and his scout that rip out for one. In come the CTs, but this is where aggression will work against them. JW picking up one, knows his secondary player was seen in tunnels, and now he will be running across towards the long side. They still need to go back and pick up that bomb. They still need to make the most of that, and in doing so, they've put an awkward smoke down. There are gaps in this smoke. JW is using that smoke to his advantage, and if he comes out the other side and takes Dupree off, this could get really interesting real quick. JW waiting for the time, but can't quite connect the dots it will still be 10-5 to the swedes come the second half he's, he's looking to try and take those battles at range normally you might see a p250 maybe even a tech nine this man's gone all in i'm not gonna see the battle for long though three players currently waiting with the ct side s tag clean as a whistle and well there's only gonna be two players remaining pistols have not been a friend to fanatic so far in this match and it's looking like we might get a, a repeat situation once again, unless Crims can ace. It's got two already. Now the downside for Crims is he has no control over the bomb. Uh, this kind of range, two USPs should be more than good enough to suppress him. Also, Glaive is making moves up catwalks with Esetag and... So interesting to see the difference here on these two, and it will be aggression. We did say that in terms of nade protocols, Astralis have an exceptionally good counteractive blockade they put into place, but Flush are getting up close this quickly. Dispatching of device puts Astralis on the back foot already, and it's not as if their economy's been booming that hard. Haven't really had a chance to do so. Flusher goes in with a second one. One of those smokes does get blocked, though, and now Glaive can try and spray in for some more. Golden at range with the AK is feeling confident as he tries to tap in for more frags, but it will be Brolan wrapping around the back of the CTs that can just finish off the rest and reap the rest of those souls. Astralis do you know what, Vince? I, I, I think if I'm Fnatic right now, if I'm the organization, I, I'm going to be asking the players, realistically, how much money do we have to pay you? The return of Swedish CS at the very top, perhaps. As Dupree tagged and fragged through the smoke. This was a full investment as well. It should be highlighted that Astral is not into a save. This is all their savings. All of their funds depleted. And only Device really standing for any longer. As attack sprayed through the smoke and Device now trying to save on long. On long. Look at how many of these T's are already pushing in. And even if he gets this first shot onto Flusher, well, now they know exactly where he is. JW is watching the back. There will be no escape for Device. No retreat. No surrender. No mercy shown. 12-7. May not be called upon though, Tom, because now they're moving on to Catwalk. Device with one, looking to try and funnel back. Gets an opportunity for another, but that's a perfect flashbang from Flusher. And that could be the beginning of the end. Glaive caught out in the open. Dupree now back against the wall, quite literally. And he gets headshot down, splattered. Fnatic looking good to have a bunch of map points. They do get the bomb down with five seconds to spare. And he talked about Magisk in prime form. It's been anything but in this map. He's down to eight. He has to save. Actually, he missed the AK-47 as well. 
Ouch. Missing the shot from JW, and he should be missing his life. 15 7, 8 map points. Of ice, though. Could at least get something here. Brolin is so low that this, this has to be a free kill. The problem is this is not the take. That's the fake. This is the man trying to cut off rotation to free. He needs a hero play and he only gets one. The trades from Fnatic are so fast every single time. And Vince, they've got one last chance. They need to make the retake work. One last chance with an MP9 and a UMP, but the UMP ripping through flush up. Glaive gets caught while trying to upgrade his weapons. And now in come the CTs, but it's Crims that locks it down and lands a 23 bomb in the process. An exquisite comeback from Fnatic, and we head to Overpass for our all-important decider. It's not going to be an easy road, no matter the case, but that's why we have all the best teams in Europe currently here for the RMR. Golden, this is what we like to see. The ITO just goes upsetting JW to get both kills alongside him. He might have been the backup. But he seems like he's done the majority of the work. They abandoned the B site early, but they're prepared for this retake. Crims is sat back with a kit. He's waiting, just holding into graffiti. He goes down, though. A bit of an awkward position, Vince, for that kit to be held. Oh, absolutely. And there is a very real chance now that Astralis can build off that. Magis straight away onto JW. So the only killer for the Swedes has actually been put down a significant amount of damage. And now Golden. 48 HP, stuck on the sandbags. He gets wrapped in from Magisk. Astralis looking to return the favor, hot off the back of a loss. They come straight out of the gate and it's nothing but headshots from Magisk and Brolan can try spinning all he wants. As attack will not miss that chance. Oh yeah, still though, escaping doing much damage he's had shot two more players jw alone could very well have tied this round and made it fanatics it's a 3v4 retake but have a look at the hp bars and now golden he can show his hand from the back he drops down the bomb glaive has to go out into the open and he gets sprayed out from golden but a lot of this has to fall upon jw yes he went down yes he only picked up one frag but he weakened multiple players single-handedly now Fnatic know that they can start stacking the B site. They feel comfortable that A side will see no action. They're boosting up Golden. He's peering in. Good flashbang tossed in though. Blinds him momentarily and affords some safe passage to the T's. Dupree anticipating that and Glaive with a double spray. Out of nowhere, this round is catapulted out of control and Astralis snatched it with both hands. Tom, I actually thought that would go to Fnatic. Yeah, they are peeking in there with Golden and Crims. But that's to their detriment. Golden laid down, laid to rest alongside Crims. He'll be feeling like he should have done better. Rest attack was tagged to 31. And with both the orcs remaining and the economy and basically the bin, I think we will see a save. Flusher and JW didn't really have an opportunity to do anything. They lost players right off the bat, but that's the other issue with orcs. They're not ideal for retaking. And now Flusher has been put down meaning that the save will be minimal at best. Dupree does eat a leg shot, maybe finished off from the USP at range. Beautiful headshot actually from JW, a bit of overkill. But I mean, this is all we can really get excited about for Fnatic is like, maybe they can hold on to an orb. Maybe JW pulls off some nice, you know, save frags. He will do just that. Ooh. What? Device? Yeah. <laughs> Gun rounds on point, never quite down, like always feeling they have full belief in themselves and well, they've gone one for one early on. JW getting the first before Mages come straight back and Brolan also has his head removed. That should open up business today. There is a fast rotation taking shape and Astralis is won very cautiously, very carefully and very meticulously. And why not? It's worked out for them so far. Flusher, I think he's heard everything that's coming his way though. Molotov will deny them short control, but the smoke Rob displaces the vision. He's going to try and rotate him. He's taken so much damage. And the one kill they get is at the cost of almost two full players. In fact, they eventually do. Flusher, 13 HP. And he's just not going to be able to do anything. Astralis go 8-1 into the lead. They are absolutely dominating this map. As has been proven by the fact they're always seemingly at a disadvantage and still come out ahead a lot of the time. But the oh. fact that JW is outpeaked while the slow play comes into effect, the crab walk 
crunches down and device waiting expecting a desperation move to come in and there's a third he was eerily silent on dust two and now he is silencing all of his adversaries and he's having no mercy while he puts them down. Crimson, Golden, Valiant hold on to B, but the second they realize both players are here, they start to retreat the bomb back over onto the A site, where Device has just cracked it all open single-handedly. And Golden with two, it's a nice attempt. But again, Tom, we spoke of this before. They need to start winning rounds. Nothing else is good enough. And Golden's missed his chance. That probably is the round following suit. He still pushes through the smoke, and Device gets a 4K. A rotation they should know if anybody rotates that's the interesting thing they've almost rotated everybody over to the other side of the map i guess in case they go through spawn brolin is going to take the initiative and here we go quiet start for the youngster he's managed to get two kills they need to convert off the back of this device still alive now the only man alive 30 seconds no control over the bomb realizing he may need to put that deagle to use over the orb out comes brolin doing tons of damage device one hp separating him and his demise loads of money could very well go for this tosses the orp away wants to make sure that none of these cts get their hands on it which is a smart play clarity in chaos it's only going to be flusher who he has gone deadly silent he's going to go for the peak here though it's touched for a multi-frag he gets absolutely nothing magis just goes steaming into the site golden lurking around the smoke can't do anything either and sure, Crims has found one. The rotation's quick. JW, it's looking like he might just try and be a hero here. On the edge of the smoke, maybe trying to deny the plant, but can't do anything about it this time. A complete change of pace for Astralis and a retake needed. But JW off to a fine start. In fact, he almost gets Magis through the wall. It isn't quite going to be the kill, though. The Vice still with utility. Of course, the pace of how they took this site allows them for some extra grenades. The control they've grabbed as well as a lot. Krim still lurking in the back lines. Roland's found one, but it's left onto Device. And Fnatic, they're going to get through another round. And I mean get through. That was not comfortable by any stretch. It's sketchy, and it puts them in horrible positions such as this. That's what we've kind of seen. And it's JW and Flusher, the two guys that you really put in that Just a fake. grouping of aggression. He's faked them out completely. Sorry to cut you off, but s -Tags basically just won the round for his team just by throwing in a few nades. He held every single player for the longest amount of time. They finally killed him off and they've realized, well, the bomb's gone down on A. Dupree's just sat waiting for any sort of rotation. In a normal scenario, this would 100% be a save, but the fact is it's the last round of the half and... Or Brolin. He needs to turn water into wine to be able to win this round. An 11-4 T side half for Astralis. They may... And they decide to pull the plug and get back up again towards bathrooms. They give the chase up. They're trying to move back towards a site. Esetag takes the head off of Golden. And now JW tries to range with the Glock to put down some pain. Dupree caught no man's land, but has Glaive to help him out. Who now stands his ground, is flicking to headshots left and right. Esetag next man up. It's like this laid approach of a firing squad that Fnatic, once they beat the first boss, there's another three they have to deal with. And the USPs are just ripping them to pieces. Broland's picked up two, and he's on to 8 HP. Well, yeah, 1v3, one, one 8 HP ace. It doesn't sound good, because it's probably not going to be happening, and they're already peeking out to headshot. Didn't even need to hit that shot. I, I feel like Astralis in that round. Like, did you ever watch Total Wipeout, Vince? So a real fall from grace. Still a chance, though to build this back and we, we touched on this on inferno he typically has been their entry kind of fragger Ooh. and speaking of which jw the other veteran core member of Fnatic, comes out swinging and blazing through connector carnage in his wake the flush up has been silenced one more time good wolf bang damage and Glaive just about surviving on 4 hp a real shot back into this for Fnatic, but they have to make sure they grab onto it with both hands CT still have a chance here. With the way that their players have been performing, there's a real opportunity. They're going to be forced forward, if anything, by Glaive's Molotov. And while the flashbang has made things awkward, he's done a decent amount of damage for how low he was. The remaining two players are a little bit far behind, however. And considering the money for the CT side, they have such a big bolster of rounds. 
I don't really need to go anything here, but unfortunately Dupree goes down in the mix of all of that battle and the Vice will be the last one just to try and save his gun. I've made it sure that oh, there we not go. them dragging the waters. They have picked up the bomb and they are now headed towards the site. Crims, big entry onto Esetag. Glaive holding the line for one. Bomb gets dropped down again, tries to go in for more. And although he does a lot of damage to the plant, it won't be enough. The time is Ooh. just about there for the plant and JW should be okay. Alongside the rest of Fnatic, Dupree has made these moves up into bank, making the most of that momentary lapse in judgment. JW's head has been removed as he gets splattered and clobbered by Dupree. But a well-placed rotation from Flusher, Dupree never saw it coming. And right now, they don't have time for gambles, so it is just going to have to be a straight push-up in towards this A site. 30 seconds to play with. Push looking to come in deep smoke to try and negate the AWP of the vice but at the same time it also holds them in that smoke's not going to be fading until it's too late so their only option really is to run straight through it molotovs flashbangs being expended magisk is ready and waiting and just completely shuts them down fanatic have run out of time and maybe lives as well as flusher is all that is left they don't even get close to getting the bomb down and astralis make that round look easy and he's on the prowl for some prey and Flusher up out, nearly gets flicked upon. But Device does miss out. This time it's Glaive that gets aggressive into Connector. It's the UMP, and it comes out ahead against Brolan. Golden's also been traded off against, and Astralis going from strength to strength. Yeah, this has just become a, a slaughter. We're back to map one once again, and this time I can't see a comeback in sight. This man has been one of the players to watch, JW. Over 100 ADR in a match where you only have seven rounds, but even he can't do anything. Man just peeks in, S-Tag holding the angle and... Flusher again. It has been a few times. Impossible clutch situations. Like, this one is literally impossible. I think I've seen this one once. It was that Guardian play, and it was one of the worst mistakes I've ever seen a team make, and we're not even going to get a chance. Convert their choice of map. And now... Astralis, even Flash 2 3 still connects the headshot onto Crims. That is just the summary of this map, honestly. It oh just hasn't been God. working for Fnatic. Great flick from Magus. Up and over onto Brolan. It's looking like the beginning of the end. The end is very much here. And although Golden is posting up a bit of resilience, it's coming too late. They needed this four or five rounds ago. And whether it's Esetag, Device, or Glaive, the end result should be the same. With Golden going down alongside Fnatic, they will get bested. Re Revenge has been served. Astralis take the 2-1. Yeah, Fnatic, they go missing at the worst possible time, and Astralis, they rise to the occasion.